Right guys, we're back. Um, I just uh, go in for just give my hands a bit of a breather because I've been like uh, we playing and recording most of this, and I thought I wet my head a bit, of, get myself my head a little bit of a breather because it was boasting because I'm wear, I feel like I'm wearing an actual hat, or an actual bonnet more lately, and. Pretty much what I'll stretch my legs too a little bit. So Yeah. But anyway, we're back. And there you go. Sawa sense his case has me scratching my head too. Someone at the top is trying to keep details under wraps. And they think it'll work even in this day and age. You're saying the whole force is in on a cover-up? It started with the footage surrounding Sawa's apartment. Someone on the inside erased it. Any footage that had the RK guys tagged in it is totally wiped. Erase the footage? Are you serious? Yeah. You heard me. Kawana leaving her place is all that's left. Even the parts where you show up are long gone. Before and after, the only person that the cameras pin the crime on is Kawana himself. Who would go so far to erase the footage? Who would do something like that? It's time to let it go, Yagami. Mikoshiba's case and Sawa-sensei's case, they're closing the book. And to tie up the loose ends, and this is the shitty part. Kawana has to die in an accident. What? As soon as they track him down, they'll put him into custody and then blame it on negligence. They'll say he resisted arrest and died in the struggle, I guess. Someone clearly wants Kuana gone, and they have the power to do it. Face ma ma minister. Who oh yeah, we, the last episode we found Kuana out near the end that of we, higher up. the police are hunting down uh, Kuwa, Kuwa, and no one's in. As far as I'm concerned, the case is closed. You wouldn't understand until you've been on the force. When the team you're playing for is rotten to the core, all you can do is look the other way. As for me, I'll stick to the cut and dry cases for a while. That's what will keep me an honest cop. That's bullshit! <laughs> You'll shut the lid on the trash, ignore the smell of the rot coming from inside and go on pretending it's justice, and then you call that being an honest cop? <sighs> Asshole. Did you forget that you were talking to a detective? <laughs> You never did answer the question, Nami-san. Who had the authority to erase the security cameras? Who wants Kawana dead so bad that they do it inside? Even if I told you, what the fuck could you do about it, Detective? Smartass! Oh, come on, I don't want to fight you, man. It's for your own good. Is that your call? Well, I think I'll be the judge of that. Because I'm the law. I'm judge. Judge. Shit. I've had enough! No, you're just being stupid. I'm gonna knock some sense into it's you, so bitch. bitch. With a lot of, with a little bit of health m missing, but I'm fine with that because I can kick your ass. And you have a lot of health. That's not fair. Hopefully you're easy and not be a bully. You got a whole bit of red heat flame on you. <coughs> Adoken! No, that's not it. Oh. I think it's time you cooled off! Have a drink! Ah! How about you have a drink, bitch? No, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. No, no! Ah! Help, 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 Mary! I want, I want my big boy just. I want my big boy just. Got two of those. Why not? Fuck it. Uh. Uh. That one too.
Uh, I don't want to get rid of that, so I'm going to just use this. See what happens. <laughs> Are you done? Thank you. Where is <laughs> nice. I force choked him. And then so <sighs> Seen the, seen the stars yet? They broke the lock and forced their way into Sawa Sensei's place. That's when Soma came in. I'm sure she was terrified. They were pointing an ice pick at her. When I found her, her eyes were still open. I could see the tears. Yet the police are going after Kawana instead of Soma. And the cops that were there know he isn't a suspect, but say their hands are tied. So it'll be my voice you hear instead of hers. And when they come to silence me, I'll know who the puppet masters are. <laughs> uh, I hear you. And you're probably right. And if you have any idea who might be pulling the strings, I need you to tell me before it's too late. Is it the Vice Minister? Is there anyone on the Force who would want Kawana dead? The moment we opened Sawa Sensei's case, the Kanagawa brass had a suspect file ready to go. They didn't point to your guy Soma. <coughs> they named you Kitakata, alias Kawana the Handyman. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? You were the first to the scene, which means the bigwigs pulled a suspect file. Would even happen. Where'd the info about Kitakata come from? Not sure. But the National Police Agency said it came from public security. Public security? Public security branch of the police. They're part of Japan's um, spy wing. Uh, it, keeps the, it keeps the eye on foreign agents, gangs, and political groups. So, Okay, so we're going to have to hunt down these guys. They don't hunt criminals as much as the gather intel and analyze it to maintain the peace. Why is public security involved in Sawa Sensei's case? <coughs> Seems they were interested in RK's criminal network in Kamurocho. You know how after the Tojo clan disbanded, the criminals started going underground? Well, public security would rather let RK roam free than bust them. Monitoring them quietly gives them intel on criminal movements. And even if you catch these guys, no one will just take their place. Wait, so they want RK on the streets? Is that why they're brushing Sawa Sensei's case under the rug? If RK goes down in one fell swoop over a murder case, they have to find a new source of intel. Purely speaking from public security's point of view, that is. Unbelievable. Not that they'd ever wrong. say that out in, well, public. If you believe public security, there's no way RK killed Sawa Sensei. What the hell? Do they even have a reason? Not that I'm aware of. On top of that, I asked Tokyo PD about Soma, but he doesn't have a record. No priors, no census registry, not even a damn profile pic. Then, what does that mean? The man known as Kazuki Soma doesn't exist, basically. Maybe that's how it's always been, or maybe it's a cover-up. They have plenty of files on Kuwana to send our way instead. They're the ones who made him the prime suspect in Sawa Sensei's case, too. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Kuwana's a scapegoat for RK. Public security wants to shut the curtains on Sawa Sensei's case with him. Yeah, but well, that's the problem. Wait, Kuwana if they silence, arrest him, all balance out. and if they had an no, that's if what if meant by one Kuwana of the members of RK... Right. 
gets put into jail, right? The same prison where he, if he goes to, they're going to kill. They're, they're going to one of them. One of these members from the RK immediately will kill Jin. That's how I look at it. So who's they, running the show? It's kind of like the similar security. scene right, when I was praying. Yeah, um, I wasn't told. <coughs> I'm afraid when I'm I prayed a little future, bit on. Yakuza, um, yeah, uh, Kawari, right? Huh? Gene show, huh? Right, got it. Call me if anything else comes up. One of um, them spotted a witness reported seeing him in Gene show. Seriously, he's back here. Couldn't say for sure. Where's he at? Fuku Tokucho in Koreatown with a Komi Jewel hangout. The police are headed there now. Komi Jewel. Apparently it means spider web in Korean. You haven't seen it? It's made to look like it's abandoned. And Kawan is there? You're not gonna say you got that from me, right? I don't have much time. You said Kawana might have an accident, didn't you? I'm sure that's why you're telling me all this. If you find him, let him know it's public security that's after him. I mean business. Wait, we need we we have to get them. Oh wait. Oh. Um uh, Taxi Where is oh wait, I see it, I see it. Just went in the corner, right? Must be. Check. Okay. Now we got the public se um, security. Great. No one is the Japanese, uh, Japan's um, sp uh, force, elite force, or something, right? <laughs> I'm calling. What? Yagamishi, it's me. I have an update for you. Kawana has been spotted in a gene show. Yeah, in Komijo, right? I'm headed there now. Ah, fastidious as ever. But the police have already started blocking off Komijo. Already? Fuck. They're probably gonna surround the area and gradually close in on Kawana-san. <sighs> What's your plan, Yagamishi? Wow, I knew you were coming Public security is probably behind that. And according to Nabe-san, once they capture Kawana, they'll end up in an accident. An accident? Long story short, I need to find Kawana before the cops do. Can you navigate me to him? I most certainly can. For now, just keep heading toward Komijo. In the meantime, I'll be monitoring the surrounding area. All oh, right, thank you. And I'll dispatch Sugiurashi. Appreciate that, Tsukumo. Wait, come on, let me do it. Let me go. You this really got him caught. Yagamishi, please come in. Hey, I think I'm in front of Komijo. Indeed you are. <laughs> I can see you from the drone. Then you'll notice the cops blocked the road. Any way I can get in there? Not to worry. I've already looked into an infiltration room. Good. Does it evolve climbing? Because I am not that good at climbing. Because I no. never enough fail my ass. So, what should I do? Can you see the white car that's parked in front of the barricade? Yeah. Yeah, I can. There's a really small gap on the side of the car. You should be able to fit through it. It'll be a tight squeeze, I'm sure. But I have no doubt in your agility, Yagamishi. Yeah, but what happens if I get spotted? You can leave that part to me. Okay, good. <laughs> Wait, they're working that way. There's my chance. Oh my 
God, it works. <laughs> yes. Uh, toss. The minute he bolts, the minute he moves, I have to get in. I need to go. Uh! Oh my god. How did he not fucking see me? How did he not see me? Okay, so he's talking to him. Uh, you want some change? Nanda. Give you change. Just in case, I might need help because I'm a bit doughty. I uh, don't want to get rid of you. I'll get. Right, that didn't even do shit. Uh, there we go. Just do that. Remember, I can't Where knock I out guards from here. here. Comey Jewel proper seems to be located behind those construction fences. There's one door in the fence, so that's your best bet. Wait. This is good so far, this is actually good. I like, I like this stealth mechanic. Uh, oh. I'm kinda dumb. Took him out. Can I get a hand? Just leave it to me. Thank you. He does all! They're not budging. And he's coming back. Oh, they are. Wait, but that means wait. Okay, makes sense. Oh, I'm away, I'm away, I'm away. Go, 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 go. Please tell me I've done it. Please tell me I've done it. Thank you. This is actual fun, I like these. Okay. Tsukumo, so find him. Keep navigating for me. And let me know as soon as you find Kawana. Huh? That's weird. Hello? Yeah, he's back in now. Please tell me he's alright. Kitakata Sensei! Show yourself! Come on, get your ass out here! Relax with the yelling, will you? You're giving away our location. How am I supposed to relax? This shit's intense! Shot was off while I was gonna get ambushed again. Kun tell you I was on my way. Yeah, suppose he did. Yagami san, all these guys are RK. Does that mean RK beat the police to Kawana? No, not exactly. I just saw some cops let RK guys through. But maybe I'm I fucking lying. knew it. They'd be, I mean, that'd be crazy. They'd be bribed. It? No, that was no mistake. Some cops are working with RK. Yeah, all but them why? After. Someone in authority on the force is trying to get rid of Kawana, so they want him to have an accident. What? That's off the scale insane. Insane or not, I need to get to Kawana before RK or the cops do. You know where he is? I don't. Come to think of it, 
Why would Kawana-san come to Komicho? Does he know someone here? Good question. Let's just focus on reaching the top of this place for now. Aren't there people from Komicho here? It can't be all RK. Maybe we can ask them where Kawana is. Eh, worth a shot. As long as we don't give ourselves away. Mm, fair point. He. That looks like a lot of RK muscle to me, Yagami-san. Yeah, but if that many are out searching, the silver lining is that they don't have a lead on Kawana. True. We'll just have to stay one step ahead of them then. I don't see I'm glad the camera's right pointing. So, point, so let's go up those stairs. stairs. Sorry, my bad, man. But you're in my way. Come on, move. Come on, move. Move your gears. <sighs> Looks like this is the highest we can go. Yagami-san, we've got our cake coming in from below, too. Fuck. Let's find another route on this floor. Great detective shit. All right, scan. What the? What? Suspicious. Hmm. Oh. Uh huh. Suspicious. There we go. Funny how it's telling me to go up. Wow. Yeah, we should be able to get up from here. I never see that side. Damn, wish I was that nimble. <laughs> <laughs> so, are we going that way or we're we going? Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna go. Oh, really? I'm going to take the longer route while he's... Oh, I, okay, dude. Alright. Okay. <laughs> That's good. It puts me all the way back. <sighs> yes, right there. Let's try this shit. 
shit again. Oh, wait, I need to... Yeah, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. The technique, the technique, the technique. There we go. Good work, Yagami-san. Yo, you guys are Comey Jewel, aren't you? Huh? Comey Jewel? Us? What's going on here, man? This place is empty. Lead the way, would you? Yagami-san, you seem like R.K. I'd rather not have to bullshit them. So, take them down? Yeah, yeah. I would. Yeah, well, I will take them down. I ain't gonna play these guys. Yeah, we're 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 from we're from Uji. Now he was kicking ass. I'm proud of him now. <clears throat> Yagami-san, looks like the top floor is up ahead. There's a room on this side too, though. Might be worth checking out. And I did forget to go to the arcade. I forgot to get the safe. Wait, try to look for the safe combination. Oh, I can save? Oh my god. That's a sa 18 hours. Okay, save. So that saves me a hell of a amount of time. A hell of a amount of time, which is good. I wish we'd had some sign of Kiwana-san, but maybe we'll still get lucky? Are you ready to go, Yagami-san? Yeah, let's go. There's no point, because think of it this way, we, we have to wait crime all the way down if we're going to do something else. So there will be no point. Man, where is this fucking guy? It's just taking forever. Yeah. It's not like anyone else is here. You think the cops got it wrong? Then what do we do? Keep looking? Is there a fucking point? It seems like Kiwana-san's giving them a slip. What's the plan now? Let's find out what RK's gonna do when they catch Kiwana. Are they planning to kill him themselves? What, you gonna just stroll up and ask him? Well, I only count four of them. So, two each. Piece of cake. I guess. Okay, let's go. Oh, Hello, the girl gentlemen. is going to survive because I don't want him huh? dead. He's going to die. You, you with the Kome Jewel? <laughs> they don't even recognize you, Yagami san? Well, that's kind of sad. What's going on here? You might want to call back. Huh? Uh, Yagami san? I don't think it's just two each anymore. Yagami? Hey, that's the detective from Komurocho. A detective? Just get him! There with Kitakata! Fuck yeah! Let's get it started! Hope you're ready to die! <laughs> I've been waiting for this shit! I wish you hadn't. <sighs> Alright. Alright, bring on then. Yeah. 
this old man way. Right, I call that a fair win. That all you got? I thought there were more of you guys. Let's not jinx it, man. You guys came looking for Kuwana, right? What were you gonna do to him? We were just told to catch him. <sighs> Not sure what comes after that. You sure the plan wasn't to kill him? I said I don't know! Who gave the order here? Soma? It was Akusa-san. Probably on Soma-san's orders, though. Hey, uh... Yagami-san? <sighs> Fuck, don't tell me he's here. Oh. Hey, how come Ijincho has so many creepy masks? I was just gonna ask you. Kuana's not here. Huh? That intel was fake. We were the ones who put it out. You live here? Then you must be Komicho. Normally, it's us hiring the handyman. But this time, it was Kuana asking the favor. Huh? To put out false information? Yes. He said he wanted to see what kind of enemy he was dealing with, and how they'd respond to an eyewitness report. Seeing as how easy police info made its way to these thugs, I'd say he was wise to use caution. Were he any closer, he would have been ensnared by now. So Kawana's nearby, watching everything unfold as we speak? He's really in a Jinsho then? We'll have to clear the room to discuss that. Why are you looking at me? Sorry. <laughs> okay, I knocked it. As you said, Kuwana's <coughs> returned to Ijincho. There are benefits to being here that only he can exploit. Where's he hiding out? Under the protection of Tesso from the Yokohama Leomon. But you're cleared to see him. We already took care of that. Kuwana actually said he'd meet us? Hmm. <laughs> Come on. There's a way through the cops don't know. You can get out to the city from there. <laughs> That'd be helpful, thanks. Guess you're not so bad after all. Bear in mind, you may not leave alive if you come back. You were never welcome here. Fair enough. And never mind. Yeah. I had a feeling he was going to say something about that. Uh, but thank you. Right, he's not going to kick her ass. We're fine. Is he, after all, he's been in good terms with me, I'll be good good terms with him. Oh, pardon me. Oh. So, where do we find Kuwana-san? I'm sure the Liuma will lead us to him. Just so happens I've got a brother there named Tesso. Oh, what? Now let's get there before Kuwana changes his mind. <sighs> yeah, let's go. Oh, it's a strip. One. <laughs> it's just a straight path. Oh, that's cool. Can I pick a skip up? Oh shit. I thought I could keep up. Oh, that's, it's fine by me because I can just go straight on and see if I can get on it. But it's interesting how he said my brother is the same name. So, you Yagami Yanaki? Tesso san told me to let you in. Yeah. Uh, Yagami 
Annie Key. <laughs> Sorry about that. And yes, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Will you be coming inside? Sure, let me pass. Sure, let me pass. This way, please. So, we're gonna meet his brother? I didn't know he had a brother. To be honest. Bro, hey man. Oh, fuck. Tessa, it's him. I I've. Do I have to call you that? <laughs> Take a seat. And you too, buddy. I forgot it this was him. Fun. And which of your names should we be using for you now? Kiwana? Or do you prefer Kitakata Sensei? Kitakata is a name that's been all but murdered by society. And Ijincho. I'm just a merry old handyman Kuana son. If you ask the cops, you're the murder suspect Kitakata. After killing Sawa Sensei, you fled the scene. At least, that's the story the police top brass are passing down through the ranks. Now, why would they say something like that about you? Calm down, Yagami. How come you never relax? So, Kuana hired you guys from the start. And you pretended to not know each other in front of me? If that's the case, you really went all out for me. Didn't I tell you? The Liumang accepts anonymous requests, too. Tesso didn't know I was the one who hired him. I suppose there's no point in hiding that now. That's just how it is. Nothing to get mad over, bro. You really aren't hiding anything? Did you tell him all you've done? He's a former high school teacher who's going around killing bullies. Can't be much more to hide than that. Do you need more convincing? <laughs> Honestly, I'm at a loss. I worked my ass off to get where you are. And I'm still trying to untangle the mess you've made of it. You've got my student helpers by the throats. So I'm really backed into a corner here. You mean the graduates from Kurokawa Academy? Like Mamiya-san? Very good, Sugiira-kun. So how about it? No reason for us to doubt each other's intentions, right? All the secrets are out in the open now. Fine. Then I'm gonna light up. You were just hey. over at Komi Jewel, weren't you? RK <sighs> was looking for me there. The police even lent them a hand. Yeah. Well, now I'm even more confused. I give up. Who in the world could be after me? Who has influence over both RK and the police? Here to venture a guess? They'd be the uneducated guesses of a handyman. You got any bright ideas yourself, Master Detective? I haven't confirmed it for sure yet, but I have a pretty good theory for you. Oh? Uh Who? -huh. Cool. Please. It has to be the... I can try public security, but I don't know. Let's try it. The public wow. security division. That's what a detective from Kanagawa PD <coughs> said. According to them, you're the prime suspect in Sawa Sensei's murder. That's why Kanagawa PD was told to lay off RK. Any trace of RK in the footage near Sawa Sensei's place is gone. Likely public security's I work. I don't know if With that kind of that. backing. It's understandable why RK fan, is so confident. Yo, hold up again. Why is public security after Kuwana in the first place? Shit, don't tell me. Uh... That one. This is all to preserve RK. Public security doesn't want them to disappear. It's just that the That's why they're trying to close the book on the case by saying Kuwana killed Sawa Sensei. No perfectly balanced why? and in Kamurocho, with the Tojo it's clan disbanded, ex Yakuza are scattered Save all over the place. RK has absorbed them into their network, and Big public security is monitoring them to keep the peace. There you go. And why is RK after Kuwana? <sighs> Was public security already helping them at that point? 
Huh? Well, uh, I'm not too sure. Come on. <sighs> We're screwed if we can't figure this out. Right. Give me a sec to think. Okay, that was that was okay. So it wasn't that. Uh, try that one. They might be trying to protect the prosecution's reputation. Huh? What do you mean? Kawana fabricated a sexual battery and got a guilty verdict out of the prosecution. And that was used as an alibi for Mikoshiba's murder. If that goes public, the prosecution's reputation will be in ruins. That's why public security needs to silence Kawana quietly. Oh. You think public security would go through all that to protect the prosecution's rep? Okay. <laughs> Can't say I'm really feeling that either. Yeah. I'm starting to have doubts myself. Okay. That one. Public security is probably working for Reiko Kusumoto, Vice Minister of the Ministry of Health. What? Kawana, you had your students kidnap Shinya Kawai, right? Five years ago in Kamurocho? Kawai bullied Reiko Kusumoto's son, mitsuru That painted a target on his back for you. But before you took Kawai out, you approached Reiko Kusumoto with your revenge offer, didn't you? Ahara told us that. Before taking revenge on a bully, you'd approach the family about it first. Did you make the same offer to Reiko Kusumoto? What if I did? She's the vice minister of the Ministry of Health. She's pretty popular. She's even cleaning up her predecessor's mess. If it were to surface that she agreed to a revenge killing, they'd have yet another massive scandal on their hands. And if you get to go down in cuffs instead of a body bag, that detail may just come out. Before that can happen, Reiko Kusumoto plans to ha have me silenced and use public security to do it. Exactly. Except public security can't just go after you, so they subcontracted RK to do the dirty work. That would explain why public security is trying to cover for RK. I see. Well, the logic starts off soundly enough. Mm-hmm. Something wrong with it? Unfortunately, yes. Something does stick out. And what's that? I did, in fact, approach Kusumoto-san five years ago about taking revenge on Shinya Kawai. And just as you said, I used Mama Yakun and the others to kidnap Kawai. And? From that point on, Kusumoto-san knew I was directing Mama Yakun and the others. She'd seen their faces, knew their identities, everything. So, if Kusumoto-san wanted to go after me, Mama Yakun and the others would be first on the list. But the fact is, public security hasn't laid a finger on them, even now. Which means, Kusumoto-san isn't the one giving them orders. Well, who the fuck is it? Sure, that makes some sense. Hey, so sorry if this is off topic, but what was Kusumoto-san doing when Shinya Kawai was killed five years back? She was standing right there with me. Afterwards, she took three days of PTO, and that was a first for her. Why? Shinya Kawai died at the hands of Kusumoto's son. She drove the knife into his chest personally. She took it slow, making sure he suffered the whole time. Just like Akihiro Ehara, she avenged her son with her own two hands. I admire her. She killed Kawai herself? Okay, so she's the one that killed him. Right. Afterward, she told me she'd never wash the smell of his blood off her hands. Damn, man. I was the only one who knew that, by the way. The others have no idea. On that day, five years ago, I sent them straight home after they brought me Kawai. And I was the only one with Kusumoto-san when she killed him. This sounds way too crazy to be real. Yeah. Even so, the fact is, Kusumoto-san hasn't betrayed <clears throat> me. Besides, I doubt the Vice Minister is powerful enough to order public security around. Then who is giving them their orders? Well, I'd say your theory's on the right track. I'm sure public security contracted RK. 
It lines up with what's happened so far. I imagine they're so persistent because they know I can be used against Kusumoto-san. Man, this is actually way, a great story. Pulling the strings I, I don't know if I said that's capture. I love the story. So if it isn't Reiko Kusumoto, you know maybe that. it's one of her enemies? Right, it always jumps to Enemy? one question to another. Who's, who's yeah. behind all of like it? Someone within who's the, the mastermind, you know? Or maybe even some kind of political rival. Nothing would be more valuable to them than dirt on Kusumoto, right? They're probably trying to take her down. Or they could threaten and manipulate her as they see fit. Is that why public security has been taking action? If they wanted to take her down, they could have had the police investigate her fair and square. Right. Kusumoto-san can walk away from the Ministry of Health any time she wants. Plus, she has the public's support, especially with the younger crowds. All just more reasons for her to have enemies. I read some article about how even the Prime Minister has a hard time with her. <laughs> like, she'll get up in his face every time he signs an order. Dumbass loses so many arguments, he practically works for her now. So the Prime Minister is trying to find some dirt on Reiko Kusumoto? He's just an example. Weren't you listening when we said Kusumoto-san has lots of enemies in her position? Hey, don't be a dick. <laughs> so whoever's behind this may have been looking for a weakness in Kusumoto-san for a while. They must have got their start after realizing Ehara's case was really about getting revenge on a bully. That puts Ehara and Reiko Kusumoto in the same boat, being that their only sons were bullying victims. And if they discovered that Kawai also vanished five years ago. Fair enough. Regardless, that wouldn't account for the rest of the incidents where a bully ended up dead. You'd know. You're the one going up and down the whole country killing them off, aren't you? Kawai makes number seven. Seven? Damn, man. It wouldn't take much to connect the dots. It leads straight to her, Reiko Kusumoto. Then they'd know that she was among the victims who got her revenge. Yeah, and then, to Ahara's case. The link between him and Kusumoto is clear as day now if you know what you're looking for. That link, Sawa-sensei. Took me a while, but I connected the two cases together myself. It was RK. She never should have even been on their radar. In fact, they traced your name from her. Sawa Sensei knew. She suspected you were involved with the Mikoshiba murder in one way or another, right? Mm -hmm. You don't care. You see your killing spree on these former bullies like you're doing the country a service. In your eyes, this is vengeance. Actually, no. You'd call it justice, wouldn't you? Except. Sawa Sensei wouldn't have died if it was. That was never my intent. She shouldn't have died. No. You don't get to just brush her off like that. Like an afterthought. You had to have known you'd go down with this eventually. Oh, uh, and you're fine if all your old students like Yui Mamiya go down with you. <clears throat> By then, why would you look back at your trail of blood? Why would you clean up all your carnage? It's not your problem, right? You move forward with one purpose. Send as many bullies to hell as you can. Beyond that, you don't give a shit what happens. Sawa Sensei died in tears. He didn't see what I saw. The fear she must have felt was still frozen on her face. I, I think Tark really loved her. I think, you, I think she had Ahara, a kind of thing for her. Riko Kusamoto. You're all murderers. And so far, all of you have gotten away with it. So why did Yoko Sawa end up having to pay the price? Tell me, will you even be able to look her in the eye when you die? I doubt it. That's gonna follow me well into the afterlife. So what now then? March to the cops and turn myself in? You should. If you don't do exactly that, no one will know why she had to die. And that'll be the end of her story. Everyone will keep on dancing around her death. Even though she was completely innocent. Just like the cops are doing. Afraid I can't do that. If I turn myself in now, there's only one thing that happens. Public security takes me out. And worse, Reiko Kusumoto would be compromised. And that, 
I will never allow to happen. Of all the people involved in this, she deserves to walk free. Her revenge was justified. You think so? All she did was scrape off the scum of the earth that pushed her only son into an attempted suicide. She didn't sit around crying about a legal miscarriage. She took justice into her own hands. No one has any right to indict her for that. So don't go there. Nobody lays a finger on her! Hey, skinny ginger kid. Looks like this is gonna turn into a little more than a chat. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god. Are we actually gonna be fighting? So is your plan to kill me too? Anyone who interferes with your justice? We all get added to your body count, don't we? The punishment fits the crime. You're just blind. If you can't see that, then you can go to hell! All right, here we go. Stay out of my way! Jin. Versus Tak. Round one. Fight. Fuck you. Where did his body where did his body went? Wait, hold on. Is that the is that the fucking trailer music? Because when I saw this in the trailer, and wait, they were, they were showing it off. I heard right the trailer music. It was it was way heavy, good dubstep. It's kind of fucking ass. Uh, well, yeah. Good shit. Nah, I don't I don't see shit is all hell. I ain't got some good shit. I love that. May have to work for that. Sent him frying, man. man they got at it. How long has this been going now? I lost track. Call it? Nah. They're gonna tire out eventually. Beating the shit out of each other is the way some people communicate. I can see that. Oh, nice headbutt. <laughs> there we go. Now it's done. Yeah, it's about that time. 
Haven't you had enough yet? What? You think it's time to give it a rest? Hell no. Stay out of our way. Yeah, look, dudes, dudes, Tark, Jin, Weaver, get yourself patched, get yourself something to eat, or have a drink or something, I don't know, and chill. Yeah, you, sit there. Uh, you got lucky I stopped when I did, you know. I had a move lined up with your name on it. You're the one who got lucky as far as I'm concerned. I was about to kick your ass! Oh, bunch of children. What a fucking mess, guys. <sighs> My god. Well, that's good. 15 SP and... Who's this guy? No, hey, wait, children! Open. Eat. Your food's getting cold. One of our higher-ups cooked this himself. It won't look good if there's any left. <sighs> Not a problem. This stuff's great. Mm. Mm, delicious! Man, this is the good stuff. <laughs> so that means Reiko Kusamoto could be being targeted by public security. Right. It's possible part of the police wants to catch me as leverage against Kusumoto-san on public security orders. But that's only if public security really is behind this. You're the one who said you got that info from a cop. Well, someone up top's been putting pressure on the investigation. That much is clear. But no matter how you slice it, the fact that you're enemy number one while RK roams free is absurd. Unfortunately, all I got out of that cop was that public security itself is who we're so, um, guys, I know I'm gonna be get I'm gonna be getting my dinner soon, so I'm going to uh, leave this episode here. I will be letting this cutscene play out, and then after that, I will be back. Or I will do the next set of recordings we on tonight. These ones are going to be getting uploaded, and so on. So again, I'm gonna let this cutscene play out until I can get to a safe point, and then we will. Uh, Continue it in the next the next set of videos of Watch Judgment. But again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. We a like, we a comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, join that mighty legion, and I'll see you guys in the next four or five videos of Watch Judgment. But until then, enjoy this little cutscene. Up against Public Security is Japan's top intelligence agency. If they're after you, there's no escape. Agreed. And I guess now's a good time to make a suggestion. Huh? Hmm? Tell me, who benefits the most from you two fighting? Huh? That'd be public security. The more you drag each other down, the easier they'll be able to get the jump on you. By the time you notice, it's too late. They've got you. And that's exactly what they'd want, right? But what if you two work together? watch each other's backs and act before RK and public security do. You might even be able to find out who's pulling the strings. Huh. Yeah. For two enemies to join forces, there needs to be an even greater threat to fight. Sure. I'm on board with that. Fine, but this is only temporary. Once we finish with public security, I'm gonna make sure you answer for what you've done. Okay, uh, then where do we start? Should we just storm public security at this point? No. First we need to confirm public security is really the enemy we're after. Right. We'll make our move after that. We have the element of surprise. They have no idea we're working together. Then we'll use it to our advantage and outsmart them. <laughs> Aw, look at the boys playing nice. If public security's trying to find some leverage...